This video is a Nerdarchy exclusive. If you want to see more of my monsters, check out my channel using the link below. Thanks! Hi everybody, I'm Jen Gagne from Pixelscapes.com. I am drawing and painting my way through the Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition monster manual. And my monster for tonight is this Quagoth. So first we'll watch my sketch video. Uh, I draw this in Procreate on my iPad, um, and this app is really nice because it actually records what I'm doing at a faster speed. Um, so I used this human as pose reference, but um, it only goes so far because the Quagoth uh, have digitigrade legs and very long arms, um, but at least it got me started. Uh, so first I did my sketch. Uh, and then I go back over it with the final lines. Very, very fuzzy. So they live in the Underdark. They were driven into the Underdark, an ancient story. Um, and uh, their fur is sort of white with a bluish tinge to it. So that is what I'm going to go for. Okay. Uh, so... Here's my painting video, which is also sped up. Uh, so I can just tell you what I'm doing. So that red piece helps me block the shoulder. So if I want to select just the arm, I'm able to do so. Um, but first things first, I've got to put in white because that's his base color. Then I get the arm. And even though I want him to be white with like a very light blue, I do all my painting with this dark blue because I want to be able to really see what I'm doing and the blue doesn't show as much on my monitor. So that's my rationale. So now I've got the arm in and I'm going to make it blend a shoulder. There we go. And add a little more roundness to that muscle, the shoulder muscle that is. Uh, and now I start laying in some blue on the rest of him around that arm. He does need more blue on his thigh, under his arm. Yeah. And at this point I realized I want to make the shoulder be white. Uh, that'll make it blend more and also makes it kind of come forward more in terms of your perception. Uh, then I give the other arm, the other leg the same treatment. And then I realize I need the top of his hand to also be dark like his feet just for consistency. Uh, and that's how I approach that. Back arm, this face, a little blue beard and hair, brightened up his forehead a little. I put some shading inside of his ears as well. There we go. All right. So let's see, not pink, the other way. Yes, there, there you go. That's better. All right. So, my trusty, trusty bear fur. Lord knows I love my sort of scruffy bear fur picture from a public domain picture. Uh, but there are some areas that are a little dark, and so because I'm fussy, I went in and fixed them there and on his hand. And on his finger. Okay. About that detail. Yeah, now obviously that's too dark, um, but I'm going to use it to lay in a little shading. I don't want to go into purple here, but um, there are a couple things I can do. And then I can overlay that with a sort of, I make it very faded, and then I overlay that with a cyan, which I also fade just so there's a little bit of texture in the white area. Uh, and then I had to decide just how blue I wanted him to be. So I experimented with that just because I don't want him to be super dark. But I think blue is still more interesting than white. So then I'm laying in color for his, just the white color for his teeth and eyes. Might as well get his nose as well. Might as well have blue eyes. 
the rest of him's blue. But, but, his nose, a cute little nose, gotta be pink. Pink nose. Gotta boop that snoot. And to make the red just... Okay. Uh, so there's my monster. Uh, but I still need to color my rings because it's, uh, you know, in this token circle. Purple is way too close to blue. No purple. So I changed it to red. A cautionary red, if, as it were. Um, and then with just a little always do um with just a little bit of my paintbrush strokes to make it you know more patchy with my pixel scapes i usually make that match the outside ring so now it's time to add some line color uh, so i put some up by red up by his head some red by his feet And his body lines I had as blue, but I don't want them to, I want to have a little variety of that blue, so I'll make it bluest where it sticks out. So you can see that's, that's what I'm going for here. And then in the center of the body, fades a little. And then I add just a little more around the edge. Laws. There you go. Nose. And then I zoom back out. Or zoom back to the normal. Alright, I think he's done. Wonderful. Right. Let's see. Alright. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, please do like, comment, share this video, subscribe, um, and you can see more of my art at pixelscapes.com. Uh, last but not least, I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters. Uh, of course, Erica Regan, the founding member and my top Patreon supporter in my conspiracy of evil. Uh, thank you so much, Erica. And uh, also thanks to all my other supporters, including Tech Dragon, Hit People Guy, Atomic Straw, Andrew, Kevin Lovecraft everybody listed here. Um, if you'd like to learn more about Patreon and what my supporters get in return, uh, go to patreon.com slash pixelscapes. So thank you again for tuning in tonight and uh, I'll see you again another time. Goodbye.